Trials of Mana. from Volsena. The name's Duran. I'm Angela, Princess of Altena. Oh, 
dream. Charlotte, are you okay? You sure? You ran up so quickly, I was afraid I'd hurt you. <laughs> Looks like you're okay, though. Your Eminence, may I have a word about Charlotte? Oh, Heath, Manor's blessings be with you. How is my granddaughter? She isn't as chipper as usual. She seems young thanks to her elfin heritage, but she is 15. She may have sensed the shift in mana power. I see. Look here, Heath. The mana statue has begun to cry, and you saw the light above the lake last night. Yes, sir. It was bright as day in the middle of the night. Do you know the source? I do not. But I believe it has to do with a change in the mana power of the world. The light seemed to land in Astoria, across the lake. Would you be willing to look into it, Heath? Of course, Your Eminence. I believe there is trouble in Jad as well. We should erect a barrier in Cascade Cavern to protect Wendell from any interlopers with bad intent. It would be the safest plan. Alone. I gotta go after him. Okie dokie, let's get out of here.
Ah, uh ah. -uh. Come now, Charlotte. You're not supposed to leave the temple today. Let me go! I gotta save Heath! What a jump! Let's go a different way. kid anymore. Come on, help me get to Astoria. What? You want to go to Astoria? But there are monsters in Cascade Cavern and all around the lake. Plus, you don't know magic like the grown-ups. Hey, listen up, Tiny. I may be as small as you are, but I happen to be 15 years old. So I'm basically an adult. My body is just aging slower than most people's do. That's all. Got it? Now tell me how to get to Astoria, or else. Okay, fine! Meet me outside, on the second floor balcony, tonight. I know a secret that might help. Nothing more to do. Let's take a nap. me to sneak this away without anyone noticing what I was doing. This is a spring stepper. It lets you jump really far. Just don't ask where I took it from, okay? Okay, great. So, how exactly is this supposed to help me? You can jump to Astoria with this without the grown-ups knowing. But you gotta go now. Someone could come by at any second. <laughs> oh no! I think my aim was off. Uh, not my fault. Are you okay? She's out. I can't just leave her. Oh, good. <laughs> You're awake. You're safer now. This is the inn in Astoria. Ooh. I'm sorry. This is Mick's fault. He's toast when I get back. <laughs> well, you seem fine to me. It's late and I have things to do. But you should probably stay the night here. I 
on a nice person last night. But I've wasted enough time. Gotta find Heath.
What do you think you're doing? I could ask the same of you. What business could Ferolian guards possibly have in this place? Hey, this human's a priest from Wendell. We can't let him go now that he's seen us. It could jeopardize our Beastman invasion. Invasion? Impossible! What's with this kid? What's with you? Ow! 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 Let me go, you big old... Charlotte! Leave the child alone! Ow! Don't worry, Charlotte. I took care of them. What are you doing here? Oh, oh, Heath. I just... You left, and... Shh! Something is coming. No! No! Make it stop! Uh, watch out! didn't realize that Holy Bolt would work so well. I suppose it is a powerful spell after all. Ooh, looks like I hooked a whopper! No! Oh no! What did you do to Heath? Huh? Huh? Oh, silly child. Run if you know what's good for you. <laughs> was whisked away by the mysterious man as the Beastmen began to attack the city of Jad. Alone and frightened, Charlotte heard a noise nearby.
saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too.
you'll do. Hold on. What? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please, I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. I can't fly any further on my own. Oh, you need to see my grandpa. Okay, leave it to me. I can take you along for the ride. Doria? What happened? Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Huh? Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. There's a voice in my head! Hurry! Okie dokie. I'm sorry to make you go all the way to Wendell. Oh, don't worry. I'm trying to get home anyway. I see. I didn't realize you lived with His Eminence, the Priest of Light. Thank <laughs> you. 
happened? Where is everyone? This looks like the work of Beastmen. <gasps> oh, that, that, this is terrible! There is no time to waste. We have to get to the Priest of Light as soon as possible. Oh, Wendell is in danger. my way to Wendell, but there's something blocking off Cascade Cavern. Oh, actually... Huh? You've got a fairy that can help? Oh, that's what the light over the forest was. <laughs> Sounds like things are getting interesting around here. So, uh, what's your business in Wendell? Oh, I see. Sounds like uh, you had a rough. Me? Oh, I'm Duran, a soldier from Volsena. Hey, you're up. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Commence the final match for the Sword Mastery Tournament Youth Division. Combatants, forward! <laughs> I'll break you like a dry noodle. Give it a try. I dare you. Time I took you down a peg, bruiser. Almost done. I can do this. Uh, I, I forfeit. I forfeit. Hold your weapon. We have our new champion, Duran! You've come far in your training, lad. Duran, soldier from Valsena, Kingdom of the Plains. His father, Loki, the Golden Knight and friend to the hero king, Richard, went missing when the young soldier was but a child. His mother succumbed to sickness and grief, leaving him and his younger sister, Wendy, to their Aunt Stella. Like his father before him, the boy could not deny the pull of the blade. From a young age, he outshone all other swordsmen, and eventually came to be in service to the king himself. Hang in there. The next shift is on its way. Hmm. I'll do one more round in the meantime. Slay some dragons. The fearsome beast known as the Dragon Lord is the strongest of its kind. <laughs> but don't worry. His Highness and I won't lose. Now, take care of your mother and sister while I'm gone. Understood, son? Your 
husband, Loki. He took a blow meant for me, causing both him and the Dragon Lord to fall into the depths of an abyss. My men and I searched the area for a week, but to no avail. We could not find Loki. I see. He fulfilled his duties as the Golden Knight until the very end. I'm sure that's what he would have wanted. <sighs> Simone, my lady. Stella, how could you let your illness go untreated for so long, Simone? If Loki knew I was ill, he would have neglected his duties for my sake. I just couldn't hold him back like that. You're, you're both such fools. Stella. My children. Do not fret, Simone. I will take care of them as if they were my own. You have my thanks. Simone? Be sleeping on the job. Oh, don't give in. What happened here? Huh? What's that? You are sharper than you look. <laughs> What's so funny? The fact that you are considered the best fighter in this miserable castle. I think it's time I show you how powerless you really are. No more talking! Senile old fool would entrust the security of the castle to a child. Oh, my apologies. You work for the king, do you not? What? Don't you dare insult his majesty! Now the finishing blow! Someone infiltrated the castle! Find them! Huh. Seems you'll live another day. No matter. If all the king can boast is soldiers of your caliber, we can take this kingdom anytime we choose. Tonight, an unknown wizard managed to penetrate our defenses. The soldiers on duty were no match for him. Duran was the only survivor. <laughs> Witnesses say the man was wearing a red cloak. It has to be that Altanish cur, the Crimson Wizard. You mean Altanus and a spy? <laughs> no honor among the lot of them. 
We should mount a full-scale attack on their forces before they sneak in again. Who's with me? Right! Hold! There is no definitive proof that Altena sent the intruder. Nor would they have reason to attack our kingdom in the first place. We cannot act rashly. Whoever attacked last night got past our defenses and some of our best soldiers. If we act hastily, we could fall into our enemy's trap. First, we must strengthen the castle's defenses and increase the guard. Then we shall send our own spies into Altanish territory. Yes, sir! But, why would the true queen of Altena attack Valsena of all places? Curses. Curse it all. Your wounds haven't healed yet. You should be in bed, silly. Red. Red whatever, just... I... Just let him... Are you listening to me? Stop whining and listen! I hate you! Wendy! Wait. Whining, huh? I walk around town, might clear my head some.
Welcome, young man. This shop is for reading fortunes. Your pinched face tells me you have a lot on your mind, son. My what? People's lives are 99% destiny. But the rest of your future is always shaped by your will. It is up to you to decide. We call that final 1%. Come now. <laughs> Anyone can see you bear a great burden. Let this old bird set you on the right path. Fortunes? Why would I trust my fate to something like that? All I believe in is strength. But I'll listen to what you have to say if you tell me how to become more powerful. Manners, you oaf! No need for rudeness. <laughs> to become more powerful, you must head to Holy City Wendell. The Priest of Light can teach you how to switch your class. My class? Son, you listen and you listen good. Even a clueless fighter like yourself can eventually change to a better class. Now get out of my shop! Switching classes, huh? It means I can defeat that crimson jerk. I'll do anything. Well, better head to Wendell and see what all this fuss is about. That lousy, conniving, murderous crimson wizard is dead meat. I won't let him get away. Not again. I won't come back until he's finished. I won't. <sighs> Sorry, Wendy. 
on, Stella. I really am. Wait! Aunt Stella! Here. I know, you already have a bronze sword. But take this instead. Is... this? This is the sword your father used when he was a young man. Back in the day, he even won the tournament with it. Against the young king himself. Oh. Now be off. I'll explain the situation to Wendy, don't worry. Be sure to stop by the castle to see the king before you leave. He's waiting to hear from you. How does he know? Don't be silly. He knew your father. Of course, the son of Loki would want to travel the world. I too knew this day would come. I've raised you as if you were my own son, after all. Thanks, Aunt Stella. I'll be back. I promise. see you're planning a journey, Duran. Your Majesty! Forgive me. It was my weakness that allowed the enemy to escape so easily. I wish to atone for my mistakes. I cannot forgive the wizard for what he did. For the first time in my life, I was utterly powerless. He not only defeated me, he insulted you, my king! He must pay for this. I do not plan to return home until he has answered for these crimes. I... cannot. Acknowledged. You have my blessing on your journey. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> His resolve is truly admirable. I had feared that perhaps he was raised too proud, but I see that he is just like his father at that age.
Just you wait, Crimson Wizard. I ain't gonna stop until I'm more than powerful enough to take you down. You won't get away with this. I will defeat you. Bested by the Crimson Wizard, nearly lost confidence in his skills. He set out for Holy City Wendell to gain the strength to overcome his failings. case. I'm on my way to Wendell too, so I guess that makes us travel companions, huh? Oh, so impatient. Give me a moment. I'll get rid of the barrier. should be fine now. myself. Don't want to brag, but pretty good with sword. Uh, the monsters around here aren't just tough.
Broke a sweat.
Charlotte! Where have you been? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but, but he, he was... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Some beast man came and hurt him, and, and then a strange man came and took him. He used magic, like, poof, and, and, and then... I don't understand. Creepy man took Heath, and now he's in trouble. Well, how could this be? You're the priest of light, right? Tell me how to change my class. I need to be stronger now. Please. Impossible. There is no way you could switch classes right now. You lack the experience necessary for such a feat. What? But... I... You must have at least heard tell of the Mana Stones, correct? First, you must gain enough experience through battle, then call upon a Mana Stone's power to switch to another class. Who's got time for that? Your Eminence, if I don't get stronger, I can't give that crimson jerk what's coming to him! Wait! I have something to say. Your Eminence, please listen. I have come from the Sanctuary of Mana to tell you that the Mana Tree is withering. Mana power grows weaker by the day. Withering? But without the Mana Tree, the seals on the Mana Stones will break. The Benevodons will be released into the world. What's a Benevodon? Charlotte, this is terrible. Young as you are, you've been chosen by fairy. This means that you and you alone can retrieve the Sword of Mana from the Sanctuary. What's wrong, Grandpa? Fairy, is Grandpa okay? He is getting old. I'm sorry. With the mana in the world so depleted, a fairy can't leave the sanctuary for long without a host. If I hadn't found you, I wouldn't have made it. Oh, what's going on, fairy? Come on! I hate it when you weave me out of the rope. Just use Grandpa as your host instead, then. Would that I were able to bear your burden. However, once a fairy finds a host, they are bound to them for their whole life. Only death can part them. What? No, no, no! I don't want a sword! <laughs> Your Eminence, please allow Charlotte to follow her destiny. She is the only one who can obtain the Sword of Mana. She has to do this. The goddess of mana has bestowed a harsh fate upon my poor granddaughter. Please take care on your journey, Charlotte. Hang on! You can't decide for me! I don't want to go! Charlotte, don't you want to save he? There's still an evil aura around where he was taken. You need the power of mana in order to get him back. Hmm. But, but... What is the Sword of Mana, anyway? The Sword of Mana is the embodiment of the ancient power of mana, guiding force of spirit. It is an alternate form of the Golden Wand used to create the world itself. The one who holds the Mana Sword gains awesome power. The sword lies in the roots of the Mana Tree, waiting. Before the Mana Tree withers completely, 
must reclaim the sword and awaken the goddess of mana once more. She alone can bring peace to the realm and grant your wish. The more the mana tree withers, the stronger the villain who stole Heath becomes. You need to save him now. Why did you say so in the first place? Let's go save Heath! Where is the sanctuary of mana? I am so sorry. But with mana so depleted, I don't have enough power to open the portal to the sanctuary. Not by myself. Throughout the world are eight points of mana energy. Mana stones. Sealing away the fearsome Benevidons. If you activate the mana stones, the portal connecting our world to the sanctuary of mana should appear. Through that portal is the sanctuary. However, you should know that the energy inside the eight mana stones was sealed on purpose as the mana goddess began her slumber. So, what do I do? In ages past, there once was an ancient spell used to control the energy from the mana stones and bend it to the user's will. However, countries refused to allow each other any control of the spell and use of the mana stones. The war that followed caused unspeakable damage. It was nearly as destructive as the sealed Benevidons. The survivors cursed the magic to avoid future tragedy and forbade anyone from using it. Now the life of any person who uses the spell will be forfeit. There is no longer anyone alive who knows how to work this cursed spell. Uh -huh. There may be one way. If we borrow the powers of the elemental spirits that reside near the mana stones instead, I can combine their powers with what remains of mine to open the portal for everyone. Splendid! This is a relief. If you wish to find a mana stone, I've heard many say that the light stone is in Cascade Cavern, guarded by the elemental Lumina. It is the cavern you pass through in order to reach here. Take Fairy. With what remains of her power, she can help you find Lumina in the cavern. See if you may borrow his light powers. Okay, answer me straight, Fairy. If I go along with you for this journey, will Mana Goddess grant my wish? Certainly. You can become the world's strongest swordsman. Let's do this! Alright! <laughs> then I'm in!
Welcome! Lots of wares to browse! Oh, good choice. Good work. This is good quality. <laughs> Come again. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. Oh, exciting. Looks good. <laughs> Come again. Lots of wares to browse. <laughs> Come again.
Hurry up! A bit roomy now is in there.
to me!
in on your plight while you were fighting. Telepathy's great, huh? Just like Fairy, we elementals need mana to live. I'll help however I can to make sure we save the mana of the world. Lumina, where is the light stone? It's straight up from here, deep within the old ruins. But you can't exactly get there from here. Oh, no, 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 no. It's safe, though. For now, at least. It's so unstable. It seems like the Benevidon could be unsealed at any minute. We gotta get the rest of the elementals on board and open the portal to the sanctuary! Come on, let's go this way. <laughs> 